In this video, I will give you a complete walkthrough of the new and updated landing page builder on your VBOT account. Once you navigate to the landing pages section, on the top, you will notice you have an additional tab called landing page templates. This is where any new safe templates will be housed and I'm gonna show you how you can do that. On the traditional page, you will see here, anything you've built in the past using the classic builder will have this tag. And once you start creating a new landing page, you'll have two options. Either continue designing your pages using the classic builder. And I personally have been using it since the inception of this product line with Vbout and found really good success. Or we can start with a new fresh experience. So let's go ahead and do that. Use new builder. This will load the landing page design engine. Now let me introduce you to all the different elements here. I always, always start by giving the, your page a title. The more relevant, the better. On the top as well, this toolbar will show you any pre-existing templates that we have designed for you. As you can see right here, we have a decent selection and we are adding a few every week. This has been released just now, and by the time you watch this video, we'll probably have a dozen more pages ready for you. Anything you save as a template will also appear at the top, so you're basically building on this existing library. If I want to start from any of these templates, you can see the preview here. All you gotta do is click on Load Templates and you're good to go. You also have an option for themes. Themes are pretty much predefined colors that you would like to set up on your account, specifically if you're managing multiple brands or you have different themes for different seasons. You can either clone existing themes or you can create a new theme from the right side. You can specify background colors, secondary backgrounds, color of the text, completely continuing to add new colors. And of course, here you have headings and body styles as well. Once you've, you're done with this, save it, and the theme will be ready to be applied to any design you work with in the middle. Just like everything else, we also have the ability to undo and redo. You can set up your cookie banner here. So enabling your cookie banner, if it has a close button or is forced to explicitly click, and then you have the countries where you would like to show your banner. You can of course set it up to all countries and design it as you see fit. Note on the left panel is gonna be the repeating theme here where you can have full control over what you're trying to control on the screen. And then you have the preview. Now the good thing about this particular toggle that we added is that anything you make edits to while you are on the screen, so let's say I'm on a tablet view, applying some edits to my design, the edits will only stick to that particular view, which is a requested feature by our users. You can also preview this either in the preview URL or in a preview mode, like you can see right here. And you can also contact our support, which is always available to answer your questions. The top right have all your previous revisions. So as you start making edits, it's going to auto save every three minutes or so. And once you save, it's going to create a revision based on your save version too. Now the page setting is quite important. I don't want you to skip that part because you're gonna give it page a title, sample page, let's say, add your favicon, domain settings to point your own custom domains. Very easy, you can customize these and verify them. So these pages are fully white labeled. What are the SEO settings of the page? What are your social share settings? When people share your page, how you'd like to have that show like the banner and the text and then any custom code you like to add to the header and the footer of the page, including activating UTM tracking. This will apply to any links you have on the page if you wanna get very detailed with your analytics. That's it, just make sure you set these up and you should be good to go. All right. Now, if I want to start the design, as I mentioned before, we can begin with a template or we can start from scratch. We also have sections. Sections are pieces from the templates that have been scattered in categories here, like you see, and 
As I mentioned before, we're building dozens of these on a monthly basis. So you'll see this extended drop down gonna add a lot more options for you. I can drag any design that I want to the center and this will populate the designs for me. Super simple. I can of course build things from scratch by using the basic. So I can drag in a grid. The grid here has one column, two or multiple. As you can see now, I have four different boxes. I can put things in. I can control alignments and all these cool things. So of course this is really things you can control and play around with. We added a lot of options that weren't there before, but we also removed options that were there before, not quite used and often used to be for advanced users. So to eliminate or find a common ground, we added some that were widely used and removed some that weren't. Coming back to my grid, I also have multi-grid and flex. If you're a designer, you certainly will know what I'm referring to, where multi-flex can add elements within elements. You have more control over the layout to make it modern and so on. And then you have the traditional kind of content, the media, and we'll be adding more as well in the near future. The one I will cover more in depth is going to be the form. We have two options to build your forms. Now, of course, I did drag and drop here a block. And when I see, say a block, I'm talking about this entire blue area. You can see on the top, you have the controls to move it around. I can also delete it if I want to. But let's say I want to add a form somewhere here. I'm gonna make this into just one block. Go back, drop in a form. I can either use or repurpose a form that I already created on my account. If you are familiar with VBout, you've built forms in the past, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But I can also create one from scratch. So whichever option you want, you'll be able to control it from here. If I drag one that already exists, the system is going to ask me, choose which list form. In this case, I only have one created. You can now toggle things and turn them on and off. Of course, if things are required, you cannot hide them, but you can modify the labels and the placeholders of these forms. So it's quite straightforward. You can change the word submit to other things and all the controls you need for your form are pretty much addressed. You can go back to the initial settings of the form by following this breadcrumbs on the bottom. All you gotta do is click on form list. I know this is not too clear, but you'll get used to it. And now I'm back to my form. Very, very simple. Let me just delete this, start again and add one that has fresh form. So I'll go to my elements and drop in a new form. And now I can design the form from scratch, which means what happens after the form is submitted, I can redirect from one page to another to create a funnel. I can redirect to an external page or just display the on-screen thank you. Here I have the form fields. By default, we added full name, email, and the button submit. But all I gotta do is click add fields and this is going to only show the default fields we have on VBAP. We have about a couple dozen fields that we know are the most commonly used fields. So you can control these from here, create them and add them to your form. Any field you create here is going to be a, br a brand new field or you can repurpose the default fields you've created in the past. Now, anything custom you added to the form will not be displayed here. So what I do recommend is to configure your forms initially on your list settings. We have tons of documentations on that and choose this option, which is the form list that I briefly described a couple of seconds ago. All right, if you created something from scratch, great do it directly here. But if you want to access existing fields you've created for other landing pages, then I recommend using the existing one. All right, let's continue. There are some elements on the left that you can design. For example, the fonts, which will be applied, I believe, to the entire list or in two specific elements. 
background colors, borders, spacing. You'll play around with these and you'll get the gist of the, those options. So I can continue building this or what I'm going to do or what I can do is once I design something from scratch, so let me just do another block. Let's say I'm creating a header design. I will add an image. Now I'll have access to my file manager. You can see right here. Now this opens up my file manager, animated GIFs. So let's just choose one. If I like this design and it works for me, what I can do is, let me just put a little text area on the right, heading and a little text area. Okay. If I like this design, I can go ahead and click on this grid. You will notice there's a save section option. This will allow you to save this particular section directly onto your account. So let me show you what that means. Section name, um, let's just call it test. Which category to put it in? We've predefined these for you. Let's say this is the features category and save. If you want to access this again while you're designing things in the future, you just need to go to sections, saved, click on the features and you will see it right there. So this is your own design. Look how I toggle between pre-designed by us and the ones saved by you. So this will pretty much give you the accessibility to fully control this builder, make it your own, not only through the themes, saving as template, but also to controlling the blocks themselves. Super powerful options here for you. Let me click at the hero section to just add something real quick at the top. And now I have a basic theme or basic template. I always mistake them both. If I want to make this available for the future, so all I need to do right now is click on the top right, save as template, give it a name, testing design A, and submit. And we're good. If I exit from here, look at this label, it says new builder. This is the classic one. I can also go to my landing page templates and see that design that I just saved in case I want to create a fresh one in the future. Okay, this is, let me just fix that. Now I'll see that template right in here for me, like you see on the top. Okay, so all I gotta do now is load it up. It's gonna be right here for me and I can make the necessary edits to it. Now the rest of the stuff are straightforward. If I double click in the text area, all the options here for the text editor and note we support short codes on these to personalize them. So let's say I want to, if I have a custom short code or I would like to include people's names on this page, given that they are clicking through an email that's been cookied and they're being cookied, then I can display the name. We have documentation on this. And we can also create custom codes on the fly, code on the fly, which can be controlled from the URL of the page. Like everything else, we have wealth of documentation on this that you can use as well. If you see here anything pending moderation, this will go through our team to make sure spam is not being created. And often enough, you'll be out of this moderation phase once you've created a few legit pages. Any submissions and details can be shown on here. And on the right side, we have analytics, which gets you deep into the performance on the page. But most importantly, there are options here that turns those landing pages into a powerhouse because you can activate browser push notifications on those pages. So not only you can create pages for forms and click through buttons, but you can also have them capture browser consent. And we have an AI chatbot component that could be deployed if you have activated that option too. So landing pages are fully integrated with all the powerful features of Vbout and are available at your fingertips. 
So this is it, a lot of options for you to explore. I highly encourage you, play around with these, make mistakes, learn. Eventually, you're going to master this and you're going to see how easy it is to use. Thank you.